Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Diana and I hope you're all okay. So let's get to it. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Diane, let's get to it. So today we'll be doing the autumn collaboration with Mini Scenes GB and Crafty YouTubers Unite. Um, I got this mould recently in, I think it was one of my Timu hauls. So yeah, I thought I'd have a play with this one today. Um, I've got some a little bit of resin that I mixed up from my last video that I've just been working on. So you'll you'll see that before this video. So this will be an, an extra video. What I've decided to do, I'm going to, instead of wasting this, because I mixed up way too much for what I needed. So instead of wasting it, I'm going to just try and pour this around the edges of this mould. And hopefully it'll work and not make too much of a mess. This is a uh, Jay Diction's uh, four hour demold resin. So it's quite thick and I've had it out of the, it's been sat in the pot for quite a while now. So I need to get it into something quickly. So I'm trying to do it before it all just solidifies and makes a complete mess. But the glitter that's in it is the resiners non-sync glitter and it was um a set that they sent me num uh, a 14 set of 14 and it's number three that i used oops right okay i'm a bit of a mess again get my little scrapey thing scrape that bit down there So I'm just getting this as much into the edge as possible. If it starts spilling over, it's fine. So I'm going to mix up a bit more resin anyway and just pour it straight into the middle anyway. Right. So I'm just going to go mix up some more resin and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've mixed up uh, another 100 mils, probably weight overkill again, but I've got a few other things I can finish them on. So what I thought I would do now is I'm going to pour a little bit of this into over the top so that it covers that section. So we'll just quickly do that. I don't want a lot in there at the minute because I've got some bits to go on in there. Oops. Let's just grab this 
this one a minute. Just spread it out a little bit. Just so we've got a thin coating. Nothing too much. Okay. Let's just fix this off there a minute. Now, I bought these from Tracy. <laughs> Funny enough. Over on mini scenes uh, a good while ago, but I thought these would be quite nice to add in. I've got some other little things that I bought off Wish, I do believe, years ago. Some funny little sticks that came with something, but I just kept it because it was pretty and it was a while ago because you can see the elastic has really deteriorated. So I've had that one a while, and I've also got some fern leaves that I cut from my fern bushes in the garden and uh, dried out myself so ooh, let's have a look at what we've got in here oh look at those they're so pretty i do love ferns <laughs> they're for all the seeds have come off look at that all these little brown bits on the back of ferns are seeds so i could even plant some more not that i need any more crikey so let's see what we can do with all this loveliness so i think we're going to get some of these ones out of this one first and try and get some of the flowers i don't know if this is going to work because like i said this is a really thick resin and the glittery bit has been sat for a while so i don't know if this is even gonna be able to get any in there but we'll give it a try so, uh, scissors. Oh, I want some of these funny little things down here. I wonder if I can. I wonder if I can get that in there. Swirl it around in the glitter a little bit. How many bubbles will get off it but we'll see i don't want scissors i want snips snips work better okay so we want another one of those for the other side maybe take off those bits Sorry about my nose again, guys. It's just unbelievably stuffy. So, that one in there. I can hear my grumbly guts doggy outside having a moan again. She's such a little moaner. <laughs> uh, let's get some of these little flowers, I think. Get off.
Okay. So I'll put a little bit more over the top of these. Okay, I'm quite intrigued by this one. It's a very strange looking one. So we shall put that one, squish it in with my finger. I'll coat the back of it as well then. we got in here that's a bit strange looking oh yeah we got these things as well haven't we right next let's grab uh, one of my big phones Okay, I think I'm going to stop right there. Because if I don't, I'm just going to overfill it, I think. <laughs> um, so all I need to do now is just top up the back. This resin, this Jade Diction 4 hour mold, demold resin has been sat in the pot for quite a while. It's actually still quite pliable and still use, quite movable. Liquid, viscous, viscous, that's the word. Got there in the end. <laughs> so there we go, we'll just top this up now. There we go, I think that's as much as it needs. Just gently push down on these because there are a few bits that are sticking out still. And I shall see you for the demold. Just remembered I bought these from Tracy as well a while ago. They're the, um, what are they called? Like the geode kind of things. I thought it might look nice in, in the middle one at least. I'll just put it in the middle one just so that it gets rid of some of them gaps. So I'm just going to get a bit of this resin from out of here, spread it over a bit. don't know if this is going to make any difference or not, but I've never used one of these before. So, I've seen people doing it with the taco move, so go with the taco move, shall we? Right in the middle of that one. And give it a bit of a squish down. Mm. 
And there we go. I shall see you for the demold. Okay, so this has been setting up for a few hours now. Some of the flowers have risen up and who'd have thought flowers could be spiky? But sticking up just there and they're very spiky. So I will have to uh, do some something about that. But for now, let's just demold. No attempt to demold anywhere and see how many bubbles we got. Oh, come on, you silly bugger. All right, ah, there we go. So pull that down. Not a hard mould to demold, but my fingers are just being stupid today and don't want to play. Probably one of the easiest moulds I've had to do in a long time and it doesn't want to play. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Right. Moulds nice and clean, come out nice, which is what we always appreciate. And now we need to take this off, which comes out oh so nicely. Look at that. Oh. Wow. Oh, I love that. That's so cool. Never used one of these before, but I love that. That's really that's really funky. Okay, so I think what I might want might do is try some one of the ethereal powders on there. Let's have a look what we got. Uh, so let's see if any of these look autumn-y. Sprite is a flake, which is quite orange. Starlight. Starlight is orange, beautiful. So we'll try this. Don't know if it's going to stick because it's been a while since been a few hours since this is set up so we'll give it a go you can only try these things if they work they work if they don't they don't it's just how it is oh look at that oh that's working great oh i love it wow that's beautiful What I don't know is, would you fill this in with resin or would you just leave it hollow in the back like that? I'm going to leave it hollow for now, but depending on what people think, I might, may try, try, I can't get words out today. I may try adding some resin at a later date or I will add resin at a later date depending on what you all think. But at the moment, I just like that as it is. It's very pretty. Don't know what it's going to look like on the front. Hopefully it looks nice. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Gorgeous colour. Pop that little beauty away. Always use my little makeup cleaning brush cleaner. Just to get most of it out works most of the time so there we go and okay shall we see what it looks like do we need a different color i think we'll move this one three two one oh i'm really happy with oh that's beautiful Oh, you, Tracy, your leaves are really stunning. But oh, I'm really happy with that. Look at that, guys. That looks really cool. Not quite so sure about how that looks underneath. Looks lovely from that side. Not quite so lovely that side. It's still pretty. Oh, I absolutely love that. That's beautiful. But like I say, I do need to uh, take the pointy bits off these flowers because they are very sharp. But then I'll like just add some, some, I'll just put some little rubber feet on the bottom. But there we go. I think that has turned out absolutely beautiful. I'm very happy with it. 
never made one with leaves or flowers or anything before so i'm very happy so a massive thank you to jay diction for sending me the resin really really great resin um i have used it previously and i really loved it but not to the extent that i've pushed this one as you can see there's very few bubbles and the only bubbles that are there are where they've got stuck where I, in fact i can't even see any bubbles so no it's done a fantastic job of seeping out the bubbles what's the word it's seeping it's not seeping out the bubbles is it but yeah you know what i mean so yes thank you for that i really do appreciate it great resin uh highly recommend i do have a link in the description for um a discount for you all so please check that out and again really happy with the results so i hope you are happy with it i hope you enjoyed the video so thank you for stopping by thank you to all my subscribers my channel members and any of the lovely suppliers who send me products to test and to share with you on my channel um and i'm really happy with how this turned out please check out the description box below as there will be a link to the the rest of the uh, collaboration playlist over on tracy's channel and there are also some links to suppliers with some discounts for you and some of them are affiliate links so i earn a few pennies as well so i hope to see you all soon bye Thanks for watching. Bye.